a great place called Arbuckle Wilderness. This is in Oklahoma. So if you're a Texas person who's living in North Texas, just like us in Dallas, it's only two hours away, and this is a great place to check out some exotic animals in Oklahoma. So it's only two hours, and it's right next to the Texas-Oklahoma border. And if, if you're also going to Turner Falls, this is also a great place to visit. So this is like a, a kind of safari. And right here, as you can see, there's the four horn sheep. They have an animal called that. I know it's really cool name. It's called a four horn sheep. What a cool name! They actually had four horns. I didn't at first. Me and my friend didn't know. Like I were like, "Wow, a four horn sheep!" There's no such thing called that. And then only we read the sign and we looked closely. It was a four horn sheep. And look at that. There's an ostrich. So this place was like an exotic animal place. It's like a great place to visit with your family and friends. We um had some friends come with us in our car. Like it was a great adventure. Look at that ostrich. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, this ostrich, we, we got especially scared when the ostrich came. My dad was like really big. That ostrich looked inside our window. Everyone was screaming because we didn't even had an eighth grader in our car. He was also screaming. screaming. Uh, whenever a llama or an ostrich came towards our car, even when the bison came, I know there's also bison there, we had to close the windows. <laughs> my, dad, my dad was like, I'm not going to close my window. But then um, there was this funny thing that happened at the end that happened to my mom. Look, it's a bacterium camel. Oh, camel. I love camels. Oh, yeah, you see them a lot of places. This place is like a drive through safari, so there's no need for you to get out of your car. So we just, um, we didn't plan ahead, okay? All of a sudden, it was a Saturday morning, the door book of wilderness. And then we was like, okay, let's go. And then we just quickly packed some snacks and some noodles, and we ate in the car. And then we quickly went there, so it was pretty much a rush, because it was like 12 a.m. when um, they called. So we're like, oh no, we're not ready at all. So we quickly started to get ready, and... Here it was a rainy day that day, but it rained after we went back, so we were lucky because we spent about an hour here. And good thing it was not raining when we went; it was really cloudy. So this place is like 200 acres. I thought on the website I looked, and they said it goes into the mountains, so almost any animal could be inside the mountains. So that is so cool. Even a coyote might come. Okay, that is creepy. <laughs> so this is like a great place to stop by. It's worth a visit. Yeah, it's a great place to stop by and look at all of these animals. There's not like that much exotic animals, but there's lots of animals like llamas and longhorn sheep and that stuff. So this is like an exciting adventure. I love this place. Um, Even my friends, they love this place. There's this it's a $17 for adults and $13 for kids. So, uh, so once we entered, we saw us, like some domestic animals like llamas and that stuff. We like go to most of the petting zoos, they have those. So at first we started to look at the sea, um, the deer and we thought, are these wild deer or are the deers that are um, supposed to be on the safari or are they just roaming from some place in another world? You know what happened? Oh look, a miniature donkey. They look so cute. <laughs> These donkeys are so cute. These like um donkeys, we were like so like, we were like, aww, when we saw those donkeys. My hey, friend was like, like saying, hello donkey. Hello then, donkeys. And when, when we saw the deer, their mouth looked pretty, you know, creepy. Look at the mm -hmm. deer's mouth. It looks creepy. Yeah. So, the, actually, the deer came to our car. My dad's window was open. It came inside our car. My dad was so scared and said, go away, deer. The deer like, I don't care. And he went outside. And look at those miniature donkeys. At first, we just saw those miniature donkeys. Look at the deer. They're playing tag. This actually happened. This is not a fast-forwarded thing. This actually happened. The deer are actually running around and playing. Yeah. This was like a cute, a cute, like, cutie, cool thing that I've never seen in my life. They're actually like playing with each other, and and these aren't wild sheep. I mean, these aren't wild deer. These are like deer that they actually meant to put inside the safari. And look, that that deer has horns, cool horns. So oh, first we only saw cool, cool domestic animals. We didn't see like the exotic animals yet. So at first you're like. Oh, I'm so bored right now. When will we see the exotic animals? This was like a beautiful driveway. They had like 
two to three lakes there, so that made it especially beautiful. And you know, lakes means ducks. So they had lots of Canadian geese over there. As you can see, so there's some geese. We we're like, hello geese, what you doing here? The geese were like, oh, hello. And then now we came to the exotic animal park. At first we saw this weird big kind of black thing in front before heading into the exotic animal place. We are like, what is that big black thing? Must be another, um, you know, llama. And then we are like, ah, the ostrich. My, my friend was like, you, close the window. And then everyone got so scared. He started like closing the window so fast. The ostrich came to our car like, oh, hello guys. Will you give us some food? We are like, no, ostrich. Go somewhere else. And then the ostrich was like, okay, bye-bye. And then it went away. There were like ostriches running all over the lake. They had like so many ostriches. It's like a like I don't know like a big ostrich farm or something. Like there is like so much ostriches and at the big at, you know near the entrance. Oh my god! Oh my god! Don't come inside the car! Oh my god! Don't come inside the car! So when we are like looking at, at the ostriches, um, I mean not the ostriches. We're just looking at all the animals to see if there's any cool animals coming by. All of a sudden, the ostrich came from behind and then looked inside. Like, there's not enough for food. We're like. Ostrich! And then, and then the ostrich put its head inside the car and tried to grab some food, but then put it back out. So then, once it put its head back out, we quickly closed the window. So that was like a really exciting part. Oh my god, this is like a cool part. We are entering like the really exotic animal parts, like place animals that aren't that domestic. But there were some domestic animals. Oh my god, look at the animal! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god, what's gonna happen? Oh my god, oh my god, this is so scary. Look at the big horns. And they even had bison. Can you believe that? A scary bison on the road. Okay, there's a back. They even had a white tiger. Um, At first, we didn't believe that there were tigers like that. But I, we thought there was like a regular, um, you know, Bengal tiger. But when we came here, we realized it's a white tiger. And like, oh my god. There are like two routes when you go into the exotic animal area. There's one route that says tiger route and one says says um route two so there's two routes you can go and once you enter the exotic animal um way there's also two routes but still you're going to see the same animals again if you go in that route you'll go to the tiger route or the second route and look at that zebra eating some food at same place and go into the tiger route and then you still go that oh my god oh my god oh my god it came inside the car it came inside the car oh god oh my god my mom was so scared that my mom was shaking videos and then the all of a sudden the thing came inside the car and then my mom threw the whole bag of food outside and that thing stole all the food can you believe that like literally all the food look at the ostrich every time an ostrich came we would scream because we, my friend said he lost an uh, ostrich kept his car and made it dense and look at that big long corn cow you might think the long corn cow is like running wild no it's an offense hopefully that is great it's an offense they're safe okay don't worry you're safe <laughs> look at that oh my god look how big those horns are that is so scary look they have like three um white camels those look cool they're like dromedary camels but you you know there was a camel that stole so many pepsi cups from the people they just like bit the whole cup and ate all the food and spit it out if you saw that how much pepsi cups there were your mouth would drop like this and then like, you would be like terrified you would be like what type of thief that animal is and then look at that big giraffe they had one giraffe and that giraffe oh my god okay sorry about the interruption there's a big ostrich pecking our card for food go away ostrich you want to see the giraffe we've already seen much of you go pick you up the baddest ostrich i ever liked in my life and look at that big giraffe so, so be, cool when, when you're looking at like that it. big giraffe all of a sudden the ostrich came and look there's a family of donkeys and as you can see the bison is over there the, and there's a rhino and then they had a bunch of bisons interrupting a rhino scene. Rhino, I mean bison, can you please move? And then, wow. And then they had some horses. And then that's a puzzle walkie's wife horse. And then here, just like the entrance place where they had the gift shop. And they also had this place called the reptile house. We didn't get to go there. It's only open in the spring and summer. Inside, they had a ring-tailed lemurs. Um an iguana and had like a gift shop with a bunch of stuffed animals and that stuff and then they had a uh, iguana and then they had this parrots something like that and then look they have some animal statues and all that stuff 
They have restrooms here, and as I was saying, they had this place called the Reptile House. They had an emu. Look at that period. They had like an emu, and then a bunch of reptiles in that place. Oh, <laughs> look how creepy that thing looks. Okay, hello, welcome. And then look at that. They have like such a big place for it. Like, yeah, so cool. And then look at that. So this, they have this thing called the Reptile House. There's emus and a bunch of snakes in there. So that comes in the spring and summer, so you can go there too. And if you like this video, make sure to subscribe. And we have lots of more zoo videos coming for you, so you better click that bell and leave me a comment if you like this video or not. And make sure to subscribe, and bye!